Welcome to On the Issues with ABC News Senior White House Correspondent Martha Raddatz and the Brookings Experts for a dialogue on policy issues and ideas. The U.S. now has more foreign-born residents than ever. Senior fellow Audrey Singer says reforming immigration policy is critical. Immigration reform is clearly a key issue in the presidential race, in the dialogue in America, and yet nothing really comprehensive has happened. What do you think should happen? How do you approach that? You're absolutely right. It is a huge issue. The presidential candidates are more or less avoiding it, but they're all pretty much on the same page. And I think they're more or less on the same page with a very good proportion of the American public. And um, what the consensus is right now is that the immigration system is broken, broken and it needs to be fixed. And so what is being called for is a broad set of policy reforms. And there are actually pretty much two camps on this. One um, is much more limited and is interested in enforcement and border security issues at the top of the list. And they are pretty much putting that first. And we'll take a wait-and-see attitude about what happens after that uh, with the other set of reforms that the more comprehensive approach is taking which involves border security first, internal enforcement as well, along with um, a legalization program to bring in those who are undocumented uh, out of the shadows. The key here and the key challenge is the 11, 12 million people who are living here illegal. That seems to be where everything breaks down. How do you get beyond that? That's right. I mean, this is the major sticking point. Um, I think it's it's time for the leadership uh, to take this matter and to to help people understand and recognize what an important economic force immigrants are in our national and our local economies. And by recognizing the reality that we have workers here who are um, not uh, recognized by our legal system, who are here illegally, um, and to accept that at face value and to move forward would be the best thing for immigrants for the communities they live in and for the nation as a whole. President Bush tried economic or tried immigration reform. It didn't work. I, I, I still it I, I still can't see how anyone can make it work given how politically charged it is. How do they how do they slow that down? How do they calm things down? Well it the politics are extremely charged and it's because it's a very emotional issue as well. And I think over time, there's we have seen uh, frustration at the local level. And they've taken it on their own. That's right. Local elected officials have taken matters in their own hands. And so something has to give. The question is how soon it can happen and how comprehensive the reforms can be. What's happened already, has that really mattered? The steps that have already been taken? I think in terms of local issues, in terms of local issues, yes, it has been important, not just for setting precedent. Um, And here I'm talking about cases where um, local governments have um, proposed or passed laws that restrict um, who landlords can rent houses to, who can be licensed for which kinds of jobs, um, how employers must check um, the the documents of people that they're hiring, local law enforcement issues. These kinds of local measures can be a little bit more inclusive. They can be very restrictive. They have a social effect, ultimately, no matter what happens. Some have been held up in lawsuits. Um, Some have been struck down. Some have not been supported locally. Many have, but they they do have an effect on immigrants, legal and illegal, living in those places. And just quickly, things like border fences, border security, How do you view those? I think everyone on on all sides of this issue agree that this is an important feature of our immigration policy. Everyone agrees that the border should um, be enforced, that we should be able to keep out whoever we need to keep out, and especially in terms of national, national security issues. Okay, thank you.